Welcome. Um, this is John Russo again from Top Online Formula. This is um, video number seven, I think. And um, this is, we're still in the overview videos because I kind of want to give you an a, a, a overview of um, everything that we can help you with. And then we're going to start drilling down, as I said before. So here's, this is, this is what I'm going to, um, we're going we're gonna to go over on how to write your blog. Okay, and th th there's, there's certain things that you want to do in every post, um, and, and, and the reasons are clear when I get done talking to you. And the first thing, and a lot of times, I'll, sh I'll show you a trick how I do it. Each, each blog, if you can, you want a video. Why do you want a video? Okay. You want a video because Google owns YouTube, okay? So they're going to show, and, 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 and Google and YouTube are high-ranking authority sites. It's like Facebook, too. So, hence why we, use, we, we leverage social media. Now, when you do a video, if some, it's a number two search engine. Number two search engine. Okay, Google's the number one. So let's say you did a post and it didn't rank on number one for the text, but your video did. And a lot of times, I, I rank on a certain uh, a subject, um, the whole page, I take up every position. And, and there's a video, it's, it's the video, a blog, a video, a blog. I mean, just, it's incredible. So when you, so you want to have a video in, in every blog post. I mean, if you can all possibly do it. Um, I don't do it on every one. I'll be the first to admit that I don't do it on every one. But the more and more that I am in, am in this business, um, you're going to see more and more videos. Um, and then you, you want a picture. If not, some of my blog posts in the automotive stuff, I'll do like six pictures and I'll explain um, what I'm doing in the, in the process. Um, and... So, so look, to start out, you want, you want to have at least that right now. I'll get into some more, but let me back up a minute. So when you do your, your, a picture, too, in the picture you have a keyword for your blog, right? You have, you're going after a, a keyword, and, not, and, and maybe it's, a, you know, it's one, two, three. It's three, three-word, long-tailed keyword. So in the picture... On your alt tag, um, you're going to want to have like the picture relevant to the keyword, and then you'll put in there um, in the alt tag. You'll put the keyword in, um, and and you just hit edit, and you'll put the keyword in, and it'll and you hit save, and and it'll be in there. So now when Google's searching out trying to find the answer for someone. They'll, they'll say, oh, this is about, um, oh, let me just, uh, let me just, let's pick some. Keyword, classic car restoration. So the picture could, the picture could be um, uh, 1967, uh, you know, uh, actually, let me back up, 1955 uh, Chevrolet two-door classic car restoration. You know, and that could be your alt tag, for instance, okay? I'm just trying to give you an example. Now, the video, when I do the video on YouTube, I'll SEO it my, in the, ver in the title, the, the keyword needs to be in the very beginning of the title so they know what it's about. It can't be in the description, you know, 20 feet down. You want it right in the title. So you got a video that's keyworded and you got a picture that's keyworded. So you're writing the post, and a lot of times, I'll, I'll cheat, I call it cheating, but I make it easy, because a lot of times you have writer's block. So I'm like, all right, I'll throw a couple pictures up on this particular post I'm writing, I'll get the video in there, and I'll talk about the video, and I'll talk about the pictures, what's going on, tips and tricks, um, and, 
and, and, and that makes it easy to write the post. So I kind of lay out my blog post with my pictures and videos and then I fill in the blog post. And sometimes I'll go back and edit them and add content and I don't have to make them perfect every time. Although if you can, it's, it's the way to go. But a lot of times I'll have like, I'm on the, I'm on the roll and I'm like, I'm doing four posts right now. I'm going to, I'm going to set, set one to go out right now. And the other three, I'm going to go back in and edit them, make them better, uh, make them more readable. Um, and so as you're doing that and you're going to have in, in your, in your, in your back end in the office, it's, you're going to have your your focus keyword and you're going to want that to be the same you're going to want it to be the same I'll put focus keyword okay now when you start out with your first post what you need to do is you want to have your long tail keyword in the first sentence okay first sentence so you're going to be like Hey, welcome to this uh, um, 1955 Chevy, uh, you know, classic car restoration. You know, that was my keyword. Um, that that we're we're gonna go over everything we did in this, and then you continue on your story, make it sound nice. And and here's the other trick: in the bottom of the post, you're gonna. It's it's very smart to end off. We hope you enjoy. Reuse it in the last sentence. We hope you enjoyed this post about blah blah blah, and and um, another thing I do is I always and it, it helps me double my traffic. I put another post, an, uh, you know, another link right below. We hope you enjoyed this post. Please like and share it with you know um, and, and comment below. And here is another one that we did. Let's say it's going to be relevant to what I'm talking about. Um, this 1957 Chevrolet um, that was also an awesome build, you know. And I'll put a link. I'll copy the URL. The URL link, you know, I'll go to that blog post I wrote. And I'll copy the link up in the top. And I'll paste it in. And I'll put, you know, check this out here. And then you go in and edit your website. On, and you, you, there's a little, it looks like a little chain and you click on that and it says add link and if it's highlighted down here you highlight the one down here and then you add it in and hit save and now this is a clickable link well Google loves that to have another link on a relevant subject and it brings them and you always want to be you don't want to always bring them back to the home page you want to bring them all through the website so that they're, they're not just like linking them right back to the front of the blog you're linking them to what you're talking about sometimes I'll even share relevant content um, maybe there's an article in a, a hot rod magazine or something um, if we're talking about this post I'm talking about and I'll be like check out this really cool uh, guy that built this you know similar car and and I'll and it'll be linked to another site you know it's better to keep them on your site but Google likes that because you're actually helping the user find um, information now now they say oh there's two relevant links on this on this website if we bring them to your page they're gonna get more answers than somebody else's page um, and, and, and I always, in the minimum, I try to do at least 300 words. Sometimes I do, uh, um, you know, 1,000, 500, but always 300. And I try to put my keyword in um, like 3 to 5%. Um, now, I'm going to give you a golden nugget here. And I own this tool, and it's called Rewrite. It's free. It's free. I'm giving you something free. Rewrite. Dot X Y Z. I'll even put the link below on the email so you can see it. And what that does is um, a lot of times if I have um, some information on a, a something I've already written, I'll copy it in and spin it. It's a spinner. And it'll spin the content and make it unique 
so you can use it again. So you, you, you know, it's not, you don't want to be plagiarism and copying and, you know, off of other sites and doing that. You're better off if you're going to do, if you want to share that information, you can put it in and put a link. This is the source. This is where this came from. Um, Google doesn't frown on that. They don't penalize you for that. But if you want to, if you want to take something you've already written and spin it and make three copies of it or, and share it on different sources, you can do that and it won't be, you know, penalizing you. So I'll share that link with you too for Rewrite XYZ. I own that program. It's my program. I'm sharing it with you. If it helps you um, create, uh, you know, helps, helps you in your content creation, God bless you, you know, go for it. Um, there's more to this, but, um, you know, you got your H1 and you got your H2 tags, and we're going to get into that deeper. But for this, the training here, I just wanted to give you an idea of, of some tricks that you can do. And, and, you know, in the bottom, you know, definitely ask your readers to like and share your content and um, any feedback. Um, I find that trainings and tips, to, uh, tech tips and trainings, people comment on a lot. You know, there's many different ways of writing content, promotion, you know, uh, trainings. Uh, there's, there's many different ways that you can write different content. And I'll get into that, too, when we go into, like, the six, uh, you know, keys of blogging. You know, we're going to get into all that as well. So make it a great day. Um, I hope this helps you. And if it did, please like and share it. And um, there will also be a link below f to sign into the business and get your blog set up. Um, it's very reasonable. I mean, you, 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 it's hosted. It's fast. Um, you're on one of the best. Uh, uh, you, you actually get SEO juice from being part of our group, too, because that we're all together. It's, it's a unified team. And so you're going you're gonna to rank faster than starting a standalone blog all by yourself. And you're going to have... Um, you know, uh, other expenses with that too. And it'd probably take you a long time to get it up and running. It took me a while on my first before this was available. So uh, make it a great day. We'll see you on the next video. John Russo.